Okay, so we're here at Sonus Fair 2010 with a fantastic casino brawl. So, guys, are you excited about the entire week? I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good experience. And um, it will love like, playing shows and what a, what a stage to play on, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, I can't get a kid with Santa. Yeah, we yeah. Um, you know, we've been touring hard over the past few years. We've been around for four years, been touring really hard, and it's it's a nice reflection of how well we're doing that we're being put on a bill like this with other great bands. So um, yeah, we're really happy with it. Brilliant. And so, so what's going to be your highlight of the weekend? Do you reckon, apart from obviously playing? Iron Maiden, Motley Crue, Motley Crue, uh, Ramstein. I'm looking forward to the pyrotechnics. Well. Got a lot to live up to. Iggy and the Stooges. Some great bands playing, and also our friends' bands, because you know you go on tour with bands for weeks at a time. You get really close to them, like our friends Exit Ten. They're not playing, but they're here. Our friends Def and Vanna and This Is Divine are here, and it's actually really cool to just see them again, because you do get close on tour, um, and it's good to catch up, ask them about their band, and yeah, man, I'm excited. Sure, there's a that. Fantastic. Well, that's, that's just what we need. <laughs> um, but no, so, you know, you say you've toured with some absolutely fantastic bands. Who's been your favourite so far? Death of Vanna and Younger and Death of Vanna. Yeah. Well, like everyone, the same, but that was just, just a really fun tour. Exit 10 are yeah, a great band. Um, our friends from Aberdeen Dweller are a great band. There's lots of bands. Uh, the Ghost of a Thousand. Um, so many bands to pick from. And they're all class acts, yeah. It's a, again, it's a reflection like when we're getting put on the same tour as Defa Van and Young Guns. It must, it's a nice compliment because it must mean we're looked at in the same kind of regard. So um, I think we're doing okay for now. Fantastic. And so, if you could tour with anybody, I mean, who would you most want to support? Who's dead? Nickelback. Yeah, <laughs> Nickelback. Nickelback. Do we'll like an arena tour? It's our dream. If, if it could be anybody, yeah. I'd probably pick Deftones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a choice. Slip Biscuit, I'd choose Slip Biscuit. I'd choose Biscuit. Also a very, very good band live. And, and if you could have somebody supporting you, I mean, you know, just one of these these bands that's kind of up and coming at the moment, I mean, who would you guys pick? Pick a band, pick a band. I love, I love big yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's so many great bands out there, and it, 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 it's a hard question for us because you know we're just down to earth guys, and we don't really regard ourselves as like a massive band to be you know taking people on tours. So it's sort of a question you can't really answer. To, again, know, I don't know. We're pointing in the direction of our friends' bands, you know, because we like them and we believe in what they're doing. So the same bands as I mentioned before, like, just our friends. Brilliant. And so where do you guys want to be a year from now with the band? Headline on the main stage. <laughs> uh, I, well, we're writing at the moment, so, you know, 2011, which is next year, it's just to have our... Talk have, inconsiderate. <laughs> have our second album out and be playing more of the festivals in the summer and just be touring with, you know, some great bands, getting the name out there. We've just had a, um, a slight lineup change. We've got a new front man, which is Bobby, this gentleman here. Um, so we haven't actually recorded anything with him yet. We're looking, we're writing really well in the practice room. Um, the environment's good and the creativity is flowing. So we need to get some of this stuff recorded on the hard copy, get it on the MySpace, the standard internet kind of procedure. And um, so let everyone know about our new angle. And this is also Warby's first show. Warby's so first show is with Iron Man. That must be absolutely incredible. Are you not absolutely terrified? Um, I'm more terrified of uh, getting drunk after because uh, these, these two get rowdy. Yeah, he gets rowdy. <laughs> he gets, he gets I wasn't I'm a sweetheart. Are you not? Are you ginger? Uh, <laughs> Can you be a sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no offence, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> ginger guy in the back there. Oh no, you know, ginger, it's, oh, it's good. It's a good colour, yes, absolutely. Well, you know, that's that's good, you know, you're kind of setting a trend there. You know, it could be your new slogan, we accept gingers. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And so all the new material you've been working on, you know, does that kind of, is it the same kind of style as your previous stuff or have you branched out? We just think we've sort of, the next album, we've matured and we're going to, you know, 
honestly found our sound. It is different, but it's just more evolving, you know. Yeah. It's not. It's not it's like very really different. Like it's not very far away from what we were. I think it's just more mature. So if you were to compare the album that we're gigging with at the minute, Shades Directions, to the new stuff, it would there would be a, a sensible progression, an evolution. No drastic kind of changes because of the way fashion is at the time. Something. It's it's like a true. It's the new stuff's very true to what we are. We've got like what fan base we have. We have to respect them for liking us as like quite a metally band. So we have to please them as well as ourselves with the new angle that we want to be. And it's a new lineup, and it's the lineup we've never been more happy about. So naturally, it's going to be a bit different, you know. Brilliant. Well, we will look forward to hearing that when it comes out. And thank you all so much for your time today. And we'll we'll look forward to seeing you. Uh, my boots. Oh, thank you. They're my festival shoes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like nearly five foot. Nearly. Very nearly. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm over five foot with them on. That's why I wear them. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm four foot eleven and a half without the shoes. And so, <laughs> I'll grow one day, like, you know. I'll tell you what, next time I interview, I'm going to be head and shoulders taller than you are. <laughs> well, thank you very, very much for that, guys. And we will see you very soon. Thank you.